To lock the doors, press the lock button. A beep will sound, and the hazard warning lights will flash once. To confirm that both doors have been locked, press the lock button again within five seconds. If the doors are closed and locked, the horn will sound. To unlock the driver's door, press the unlock button. Two beeps will sound, and the hazard warning lights will flash twice. To unlock both doors, press the unlock button again within three seconds, and two more beeps will sound. To open the trunk, press and hold the trunk button until the trunk lid opens. To signal for attention in an emergency, press the panic button for one second. The horn will sound intermittently, and the hazard warning lights will flash. To turn off this alarm, press any button on the transmitter. To lock the doors, press the driver's door request switch. A beep will sound, and the hazard warning lights will flash once. To unlock the driver's door, press the request switch. Two beeps will sound, and the hazard warning lights will flash twice. To unlock both doors, press the request switch again within three seconds, and two more beeps will sound. To unlock the doors, press the front passenger's door request switch. Two beeps will sound, and the hazard warning lights will flash twice. To open the trunk lid, press the request switch on the underside of the lid above the license plate. To start the engine with a manual transmission, depress the clutch pedal. With an automatic transmission, depress the brake pedal. Push in the start knob and then verify that the green key indicator light in the instrument cluster illuminates. Switch the ignition to the accessory position while pushing in the start knob. Switch the ignition from the accessory position to the start position and hold it until the engine starts. After starting the engine, let it idle for about 10 seconds. To turn off the engine, shift the automatic transmission into park and then switch from the on position to the accessory position. Push in the start knob from the accessory position and turn it to the off position. If the engine cannot be started for reasons such as a dead transmitter battery, the engine can be started using the auxiliary key. Pull the auxiliary key out from the bottom of the advanced key. Make sure that the start knob is in the off position. Remove the start knob by pulling it outward while depressing the buttons on both the left and right sides. Insert the auxiliary key into the ignition switch. With a manual transmission, depress the clutch pedal. With an automatic transmission, depress the brake pedal. Switch the ignition to the start position and hold it until the engine starts. After starting the engine, let it idle for about 10 seconds.